My name is Adam Hauser. I'm a regional sales manager with CAF America, and I'm coming to you today from Raleigh, North Carolina to show you my CAF home cinema. So we'll talk a little bit about what you see behind me uh, because there's one thing in this room that's truly unique and really never been done before, uh, and that is having multiple projectors in, in one home cinema. I felt that for, uh, you know, for video games, which can easily uh, do higher resolutions, higher frame rates, I should be able to have my side walls be a part of the video experience. And so in getting video to wrap fully around the room, it really makes the video immersive, makes the experience experience just that much more realistic. Uh, after a few minutes, you almost forget you're playing a video game. But without the CAF audio, without, without our CAF in walls, the audio would have never been able to be as immersive and actually more immersive than even the video is. KEF is known for having a lot of really great technologies and of course the most important one being UniQ, which gives us an incredibly wide off-axis response. And KEF was vital to creating a sound experience that matched the video experience. So the design for the home cinema had actually been in the works for years, uh, but the theater project itself broke ground in August of 2020, and it finished in August of 2021. So it took just basically right out a year to get everything done. But having actually been an installer for a little over five years in the industry, uh, you know, had, had the experience, had the knowledge, had the kind of know-how to, to do this all myself. There's a lot of really great computer, uh, computer programs, computer software out there. You can actually draw rooms in 3D and kind of really bring your, your, bring your ideas and bring your designs to life. And so I use one of those programs as I was designing this room. And one part I'm really, really proud of is that my final design for the room and the way the room turned out are almost identical. So really even better than I could have thought it was gonna turn out. Uh, my wife, Sarah, and I, uh, we have a three-year-old son named Henry. We're actually proudly expecting our second here uh, in the next month or so. And we got a little uh, little dachshund named Cooper, so our family kind of continues to grow. Uh, you know, we all agreed that we needed to have a home cinema of some kind. And we designed it in a way that allowed us to be able to watch everything and play everything that we like to do as a family. So whether it be watching a movie, watching a TV show, playing a video game, um, listening to music, we can do that all in this room. So the, the front projector is 11 and a half foot wide image and the two side images you see are two nine and a half foot wide images. So getting the Epson projectors to uh, be able to project on the walls correctly, to get the correct size images I needed for the side walls, uh, getting them focused, getting them all aligned was literally a uh, several months of work to make sure that everything was in the right spot. You know, a lot of times calibrating one projector, getting one projector set up can be difficult. Doing three was uh, something that was uh, a, a bit of an undertaking. But now, of course, now that it's done, um, you know, doing another setup like this would be pretty easy from all the lessons I've learned. So the very first thing I did was actually pull the ceiling down. I had a, a nine foot finished ceiling down here to begin with, but I cut out a, a center section of it to create a, a soffit or trade ceiling effect, raising the center of the ceiling up by a little over a foot. From there, I actually went and built the front baffle wall. I wanted to make sure that my left center and right speakers, as well as the two in-wall subwoofers, had all the right proper enclosure and proper volume they need for maximizing bass. So I built a whole, a whole separate baffle wall to, to contain them, got that mounted into the front wall. For speaker selection in the room, uh, we had to go all in wall to be able to maximize as much of the space as possible, uh, which is actually great because KEF makes a full line of THX Ultra 2 certified in wall speakers. So they're capable of all the full high output you need for a home cinema. Uh, the room itself is set up in a uh, 7.6.4 surround format. So I've got seven main channels around the room. I've got six subwoofers spread out throughout around the room. And then I have four Dolby uh, Atmos speakers in the ceiling. For the left, center, and rights that are actually behind an acoustically transparent screen, I did three of the 5160 reference in walls. Uh, I also did two of the 3160 RLB THX in wall subwoofers behind the acoustically transparent screen. For sides and rears, I used four of the 3160 RL THX in walls. I also used two Cube 12 freestanding subwoofers that are actually hidden in the side walls for more low frequency bass enhancement. 
And then across the rear, I used two more of the CI3160 RLB THX and wall subwoofers. That gives me six total subwoofers. For in ceiling for the Atmos, I've got four of the CI200RR THX loudspeakers. Those are the eight inch in ceiling THX Ultra 2 speakers, which are just the best speaker when it comes to Dolby Atmos uh, for creating that lifelike effect, for creating that full depth of experience. They do a phenomenal job at that. For surround processing, we're using a surround processor from our audio partner, Accurus. It's the Accurus Muse. For amplification, we've got um, amplifiers from our audio partner, Hegel. Uh, we've actually got two of their five channel amplifiers and one of their large two channel amplifiers, the H30. So that gives us a total of 12 amplifier channels, 11 of which are being used in the room. From there, it was uh, locating all the speakers, actually getting the speakers cut into the wall. Now that I had the, the openings, I was able to do all my, my wiring. So I've got almost a thousand feet of speaker wire throughout the whole room. I went to uh, getting all the uh, projector enclosures built, and, uh, cut and built into the ceiling since I have three of them. Uh, they all range in shape from about two and a half feet by three feet. All the projectors are actually recessed up into these housings so that way you don't see them, you don't hear them when the theater is on or off. As I mentioned for video, we've got three Epson projectors. We have one Epson 6050UB that's acting as our main overhead projector for the front screen. And we have two short throw LS500 projectors, both in the left and right soffits projecting our side images. We had to finish the top, uh, finish the ceiling. So we actually did multiple layers of sound isolation with rock wool, as well as about 40 something bags of spray in uh, insulation to fill the void between the, the basement part of the, 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 the home cinema and the living room is above us. That means we can play at full Dolby reference level down here and upstairs, all you hear is a slight murmur in the living room, which is really, really exciting. The room was painted, um, all of the acoustics went up, fabric tracking was installed, the star ceiling was then done, that was all hand done by me. And then we brought in uh, carpet, flooring, got the bar installed and made, and, uh, and then just all kind of final touches and then setting everything up, installing everything, getting the speakers in, getting all the projection screens in, getting the projectors in, getting them all set up and calibrated. And then, you know, uh, say 12 months later, we were off to the races, finally, finally watching movies and listening to TV shows. But one thing I really want to stress is that home theater, home cinema is, is available to everybody. You, you don't have to have all the same things I have to have an immersive experience. You don't have to have a specific size room. You don't have to have a specific size and shape speaker. Uh, all the, the partners we use in this room all make solutions available at any price point, any size room, any overall goal you wish to achieve, you can do when it comes to home theater, home cinema. Uh, KEF specifically, we have products for any type of application you may have. So whether you have a, that spare bedroom, uh, whether you have the big empty basement room like this, or you have uh, just a, you know, a living room, that's all you have access to. There are things you can do. There are ways you can design an immersive experience. You can design a home theater, design a home cinema uh, based on all of your exact needs, whatever your budget may be, whatever the, the overall goal you wish to achieve, you can do that. That's what we're trying to provide. We're trying to provide you, our customer, you, our dealer, with an amazing experience. This just kind of lets you leave the outside world behind a little bit. Let you get involved in that movie. Let you really get behind that, that video game you're playing. Let you enjoy your favorite TV show. It's about making the experience better.